in the endless YouTube struggle between skeptical rationalism and creationist dishonesty. There occasionally arises from the discourse ponage of both arse-slapping brutality and ball-breaking hilarity. Ponage whose very sight makes grown women wince and grown men clutch their crotches in dismay. So brace yourselves and clench your buttocks as we take a journey into the world of the living dinosaur. There are no bones, no fossils of whales with bones appearing. And then that same bone is longer. And then that same bone is longer. And then that same bone is longer. Then it's protruding from the, the rear of the, of the animal. Then it's protruding and further. And then we have, we have a fan. See? Anyone with half a brain would realize that your ignorant anti-Christian bias totally robs your video of any validity that it might have otherwise had. And if they don't, then they're all as sheep-like as you claim we are. The pseudoscience of evolution contributes nothing to a particular story except for a tacked on after the fact fairy tale about the butterfly mysteriously evolving some amazing capability for the purpose of doing something with no explanation of how it did such a thing, why it did it, when it did it, or what it may be continually doing now. It's never been observed, this hasn't happened. But I'll claim that it does. I'll point to small changes within bacteria or viruses and say that's proof of evolution. That's proof of changes. Uh, variations can occur within uh, the grouping. Okay, DNA. He did not know about DNA, which, you know, if you're a scientist, once they, when they did find out about DNA, you shouldn't believe in evolution at all. It should have totally debunked it. Actually, it does debunk it, but you people still believe it. You still believe apes and humans are, they have a similar ancestor or some bullshit. When, you know, our DNA is so different. Perhaps that's because scientists have better things to do with their time than deal with the lingering stench left by the brain farts of deliberately ignorant and intentionally deceptive fucktards. If you want to spend your time indulging in such pointless mental masturbation, that's fine. Just don't expect rationalists to feel the need to explain to you why you have such an unsightly stain in your underpants. Now presumably you're trying to create the impression that some kind of unbridgeable biological gap exists between humans and other animals that can only be explained by the existence of an all-powerful invisible cosmic being that has nothing better to do with its time than play with the dolls that it made out of mud to amuse itself. However, you seem to be ignoring that humans share with the rest of the animal kingdom essentially the same genetic material, the same genetic code, the same bioenergetic mechanisms, the same metabolic processes, the same signaling pathways, and the same subcellular structures. Especially note that this means that we're not made out of the shit that one of the two contradictory stories in your book claims your God fashioned us from.